All right, welcome back to another video, guys. Today we are going to be installing MultiCraft on either your virtual private server, dedicated server, or on your own home computer. That part is all up to you. <coughs> um, if you do need help, I do offer um, services to set up Minecraft servers, whether it's on your VPS <coughs> or whatnot. If it is on your home computer, I will make the files and send them to you, or we can set up a kind of a remote access thing to kind of do it that way. <coughs> so, let's get going. First, you're going to want to open up Google Chrome, Edge, Oprah, whatever service you use. Let's just set. It is Chrome because I hate Internet Explorer. So first off, we're going to want to search Multicraft Minecraft on your browser. <coughs> we can look at their price in here for you guys. So they have free, which gives you one server, 10 player limit of 10. Then they have this owned package, which you can get two servers all the way up to 10. Which all with unlimited player limit, no cloud install. And depend on which one you get, it can go from cheaper to more expensive, which in my opinion, ain't bad. Then they have Dynamic. This is if you want to start up your own hosting company and stuff like that. I am currently doing this one as, <coughs> to me, it is more suitable for me. And yeah, so first let's get to downloading the standalone version. If you're running Linux, you want to download Minecraft for Multicraft for Linux. And they also have language packs that you can download as well. So let's go ahead. Let's run this. Next. Let's accept this. Let's close this. Uh, next. Upgrade reinstall. Yes. Yes. Next. And then you want to set your password. You don't need a password but it is always recommended if you're going to be doing it this way and just because there is a license key I am going to be doing this off screen just for the sake of my own license key and then just like that now we can go to next create a desktop shortcut as you can see, FTP server, the daemon, database server, web server, H the HTTPS and the web server for here is all set up nicely. So go ahead, install it from there. Another thing, if you guys do plan on doing a website with billing and all that, you can go to any of these personally if I ever do this it is going to be th probably through these guys either box billing or the WM WHMCS because <coughs> to me they just look nice but you can also use this free one like they have they have a really nice setup as well for invoices and stuff like that it's just depend on what you want to do with it kind of thing is what I say with that <coughs> so once that's installed let's hit finish it is going to open it just like this and then you just want to go ahead log in stay logged in let's just allow this save and save and then just to make sure that it does actually work somewhere else we can go here let's open up my chrome sure let's and then you want to type in the IP or if you are at home or whatnot you can just do it basically from there or if you're having it on a desktop and you want to install stuff from a laptop 
then you can do it from here and just like this so just to make sure stay logged in allow IP changes just like that and let's go ahead and create the first server so this one we are going to name skyblock with 60 player slots IP this is gonna going to just assign it with not with something let's set this as two five five six eight um, 5680 let's just do it like that no jar file yet obviously um, and then you can have it auto start owner manage FTP set player account set jar directory we don't want them to set this unless it is your own servers um, so then after that go ahead create it you won't probably won't have anything in here unless you already installed it all yourself so as you can see this is all like that the IP is gonna be like this just for right now so let's go ahead and start this And then we just want this to all start up this is just going to start up on a vanilla kind of minecraft server and this is just testing to make sure that the daemon does work and then if you want you can add a user let's create one let's make twizzy global role i want to be a super user full access english theme let's do flat theme dark for it and let's just type in an IP address oh, fuck I mean email duh and create just like that we have another user and to test that let's just go over here log in oops oh did I put in the wrong password there now let's try Okay, what the heck? This either hates me or something. Oh, I blocked my login. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I temporarily fucked myself, but that's okay. That happens. Let's go ahead and check this. So, once this is all like this we are going to go ahead open up some minecraft just so that we can try it out and you will know that it is online when this changes to a check mark once it wants to go Another thing I am going to be doing is I do plan on maybe opening up an SSG vanilla Minecraft server just for the vanilla players to come and play. Come on, why aren't you going? So let's go ahead let's look at the FTP create so we have all of this here so let's go ahead let's go and look at Minecraft here quick
then let's just try to restart the server as well. 147.189.172.77. I think that's what I put it at. Yeah. So I'm probably going to be on the wrong version. So that's my own stupidity. So yeah, as you guys can see here, it has the check mark here, says that it has started. So let's go ahead and test it. And by doing that, we want to open up Minecraft, do latest release 1.19.3 which is going to be the version of the vanilla server here so once my Minecraft wants to load up, we can go ahead and give this a try. Come on, Minecraft. I know you want to. I know you don't hate me that much. The server might, but Minecraft doesn't. Minecraft will never hate me. <laughs> and if it does, well, I guess that's a uh, personal issue. So, as you guys can see, the server has started up successfully, and I can join. My computer always lags at first. Holy shit. So, as you guys can see, the server has started up, and to confirm this, we can see that I have joined the game, I ran the message of the day, and yeah. It doesn't help that it's running vanilla Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft is fucking laggy as all hell. And let's just continue confirming that I am indeed on the server. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it has made me a operator of the server. And just like that, that is how you make your own Multicraft server and how to install Multicraft on your own computer or server or whatever you install it on. Let's go ahead and check out the Nova Sky MC. So, Townie is currently broken to everyone, so nobody can join it. Um, but we do have this amazing prison server. You get your own backpack that you can put stuff in. Say you want to get wood from the wood, mi wood mine for your base. Your, or your plot, you can do that. And if you follow this path all the way here, we have this amazing PvP area where this is going to be a crate for the winner. But anyone can come and attack you. So, as you can see, keep out, close mine. In my opinion, this is the most badass PvP arena I have ever seen. And if you do mines, I have to do GUI just because. Oh. So I have to do mines TP, so as you can see, there is a lot of mines. We have A through Z, just like this, A, and then if we do B, you get more and more and just kind of better stuff as you progr progress through the server.
So what the fuck? It was for like that for me when I started up too. Well, let's see where you are. Oh, so as you can see, what mine are you in? Fuck, I don't even know what mine this is. But, as y'all can see, like, restart Minecraft or your computer. But, as you can see, like, it's it's just an all around great map or great server for all of the prison prison lovers and yeah and to that we are going to end the video so i can continue working on the server i might make another one for how to install plugins and whatnot to servers but we will see till then see y'all next time